Hey guys, I just wanted to make this video talking about a Discord scam that's been going around for the last half year, actually. Um, and it was also popular on Steam before, apparently. But, uh, yeah, so I myself happen to be hacked, have my Discord account hacked by this scam. Um, I didn't get scammed, but I got my account hacked. What they do is they would hack they would try to hack your account first, and then they try to scam you, but I didn't fall for the scam. So, um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, what I have right here is my Discord account that got hacked. Um, I've had this for almost six years. I had so many, like, servers and old friends on there. So many memories made, so I really can't afford losing this account. Um, I already texted, I already, uh, sent some ticket request to discord support and discord supports like pretty bad so i'm still waiting on a response for them but uh yeah so this really started um this started on saturday uh four around 4 30 eastern time uh my friend who i didn't know was hacked at the time there was a hacker on his account he was um texting me using my friend's account and i thought it was my friend at the time um and that's that's what they want that's what they, that's what they want you to believe they want you to believe it's your friend so the hacker uses the account they t he texts me he's like oh my god i accidentally reported you please text this discord support admin or whatever to to get your name off the ban list because as of right now you will be banned because i accidentally reported you now Many, I assume some of you will probably have, would probably have heard this, heard of the scam before, but at the time I didn't know it. So, yeah, I fell for it. So, I texted the, I sent a friend request to the Discord support guy he told me to add. And it was this, like, Chris Dong person who, yeah, who was just faking a fake Discord support guy who was a scammer. Apparently it's not just him, there's, like, multiple, like, fake Discord support accounts that try to scam you. But, um, yeah, he told me that, this Chris Dong guy, um, and I started off by, uh, asking the obvious, you know, like, um, can you please, like, clear my name off, can you please help me clear my name off the ban list, and, yeah, he, he, at first, we were just, like, talking back and forth, and, yeah, we got up to the point where he said the issue was resolved, you are not involved, but, but, you will have to follow this next set of procedures just to like clear some stuff off your account i i don't even remember but uh yeah so i complied and i think one of the first things he asked me was to change my email and keep in mind at the time i was still under the belief that like something would happen to my account if i didn't do all these steps so i didn't know yeah i didn't know it was a scam at the time but uh yeah so he just told me to change my email um, to to an email that he provided me I did so and my email was changed and yeah that's where he gets my account but I didn't I didn't know he was gonna hack it at the time I thought it was just all part of the process and yeah there's that and then the next thing he asked me is when I got suspicious he asked me um, to pay a hundred and fifty dollars just to just to verify that it was me. It was me on my account or some shit like that. And yeah, that's at, at that point I went I went on Google and I, and I was like this I saw something like Discord support asking me to pay 150 and then the first thing at the the first link was a Reddit a Reddit like forum that said um that said scam. Um and then I looked through, I read through the Reddit and then some some people were saying um, that they had unfortunately lost their account because they gave their email to the spammer. And at that point, I knew I was kind of screwed. But um, yeah, I, I tried stalling the scammer. I tried like keeping them, him there for as long as possible um, as I was trying to figure out a solution to the problem or what I could do to pot perhaps get my account back like I added a f I added my phone number and stuff but it didn't seem to work so yeah I didn't pay him anything so 
eventually, eventually I got kicked out, kicked off of my account. So yeah, so now here's my hacked account. And uh yeah. The hacker is on my account now, and my friend just sent me this. Um, I made a new account, by the way, in the meantime. But uh, my friend sent me this screenshot, and yeah, the hacker's on my account scamming my friends now, so. And I contacted, I've contacted support now. Um, I've contacted support on two different accounts on Discord, support.com or some, something like that, whatever it is. Um, on one of the accounts, I actually got a reply, but it was on the account that was, that it was on a separate email than the account that was associated with this one. So they were like, in order to prove, um, that this is your account, send us another request on the email that was previously connected to this account. So I did so and provided them my, the ticket number to those requests and they like just replied again and then they said they couldn't provide any additional support so yeah discord support's really a joke um honestly i'm just hoping that they can reply to the one they could just like find my the tickets on my regular on my other other account and reply to them but uh yeah and i don't think they've replied once to my other account so i'm still waiting on a response so i just thought i shared this game with you Guys, um, just beware. Many of you probably already know it, but um, I'm just saying beware if some of you don't know about it yet. But um, yeah, as of right now, I'm still trying to get my account back. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd share that. So uh, yeah, I got my account back, and my DMs are obviously all messed up because the hacker was going through my friends list, DMing them, trying to hack them too. But uh. Yeah, they basically just copy pasted this this fucking message. As you can see right here, they're like, "Hey, um, I counter situation where I accidentally reported you. Please text this guy." And you know, actually, this is one of this is probably the only person I could find that fell to this scam. So I'm like really sorry, but yeah, my DMs are just all messed up. I'm I'm just going through um going through my DMs, deleting each message, um, just to clear things up, and, um, and those who saw the message, I, I tell them, um, that it was a scam, but, uh, yeah, I'm really just organizing this out right now. So, yeah, to conclude, um, this experience was obviously, like, really stressful, I, I literally had, had to study for a physics final, like, the weekend, the same weekend this happened, so, can only imagine how stressful that was um yeah but uh yeah discord support only took uh took less than two days to to get to resolve the issue so um i guess they're not that bad after all <laughs> but yeah from this experience i've definitely learned my lesson even the smallest bs i'm not gonna trust from now on the hacker was like on my account and he texts, he tried scamming like all my friends. I lost a lot of friends from this, unfortunately. But in the end, I got my account back. Um, don't make same make the same mistake as I did. Um, be be cautious nowadays, guys, because there's there are a lot of scammers on here. Um, yeah. All right. Peace out.